Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. It is early Sunday morning. Thanks for joining us for the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We're continuing again to see the possibility of a few showers and thunderstorms out across the Mid-South. Forecast on the red bar down at the bottom of your screen. Temperatures today back in the 90s. Winds out of the west-southwest for today and into this afternoon and this evening. Lows tonight going to be going back on down into the lower to mid-70s or so and not much cooler than that over the next few days. Now we do have some good news in the forecast coming our way. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. We've got some new webcams to take a look at. And we're also going to be taking a look at whether where the troops are. If you think it's hot here in the Mid-South, wait till you see what's going on overseas where everybody is pulling their part for the military. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Main weather story for the day is going to be the possibility of lots of heat yet again. It's going to be another steamy one out there. And the National Weather Service issuing another heat advisory. They issued one until 9 o'clock Sunday. This one has been kind of tooled back by just a little bit. It is in effect for only small portions of the News Channel 3 viewing area, basically for everything up the Mississippi River and into and around eastern Arkansas, back into around western Tennessee for the area around portions of Shelby County, and then across portions of northwestern and north central Mississippi, but that's about it. We're not seeing too much of anything else out there when it comes to anything involving huge amounts of heat, again, for much of the rest of the area. But this will continue throughout the area today until 7 o'clock for the area's energy. And yes, that does include the metro area. So if you have any plans for outdoors, please remember that this is going to be the hottest of the hot area with heat index temperatures around or over 105 degrees. So please keep that in mind for safety's sake out across much of the area today. Could be, again, some dangerous weather for working or exercising during the hot hottest parts of the day. Wildfire danger, the good news at this point, really good news, is that thanks to the rain that we have gotten over the last several weeks and months, so burn area of the Mid-South. For Arkansas and Mississippi, you need burn permits to burn in and around the area of Tennessee, but specific county-by-county county or city-by-city city burn bans are not in effect at this time, so we have nothing to report in and around the area when it comes to anything involving burn bans, so definitely good news there. Hot today? Oh yeah, you betcha. So if you're going to be doing anything outdoors, definitely want to think about cooling things off. Our exclusively exclusive and tongue firmly in cheek cough temp decks, which is a lot easier than saying your choice of coffee based on outside temperature and condition and humidity index. There's a nice ring to it right there. So again, iced frothy coolness for a cooled off iced coffee would probably be a good idea rather than doing anything in the way of a hot cup of joe. But hey, it's your coffee, your rule, so go ahead and do what's necessary. Just stay safe out there and remember that hot coffee could be hot, jokingly I say, and not wanting to spill anything on yourself. A few new webcams from ex Airbus driver in Germantown. Some sun this morning in the backyard pond area. Some very good, nice conditions being seen at this particular location. From the Ole Miss campus, the track and field cam on the University of Mississippi campus in Oxford. Plenty of sunshine and a few people out and about going for a stroll or for a bit of a run for early this morning. Mayor, Former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Riker, his webcams, or at least one of them anyway, <coughs> excuse me, Olive Branch, Mississippi and a mainly clear sky from early this morning looking back to the northwest and a view of what I believe is uh, City Hall if I'm not mistaken but not entirely sure from Mayor, former Mayor Sam Reichert's Olive Branch webcam on the Weather Underground Network. The Almanac is going to be calling again for some very high levels of UV radiation today and some pretty high levels again into tomorrow, but tomorrow we may see less chances of UV radiation if we get enough clouds in here, but again, if you're going to be outdoors today and tomorrow, plan for lots of sun, which means again, the UV index is going to be high, so your sun protection factor on your suntan lotion should be again a very good number. Make certain you reduce the possibility of sunburn and therefore the possibility of anything involving skin cancer, melanoma, things like that. More information about that, go to wreg.com slash weather for your complete forecast. Usually we don't mention stuff like this unless absolutely necessary, but this happened very close to Memphis. Matter of fact, right across the river, a 2.5 magnitude earthquake, 1030 Saturday morning, 3.1 miles northwest of Marion, Arkansas, just up the roadway and very close to I-55 north of West Memphis, Arkansas. This happened again yesterday morning, Saturday morning. If you felt this, please go to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis. That's at memphis.edu slash c 
E-R-T-H-Q-U-A-K-E-R-I, or go to earthquakes.usgs.gov to fill out a Did You Feel It report. If you felt anything whatsoever, your information as a citizen scientist can come in handy to get more information and studies into the hands of the people who study things like this and can help us even with earthquake detection in the near to far future, but it can't happen without you. So if you, you don't have to have a PhD to participate in studies like this. What you need to do is again go to Surrey at the University of Memphis website or United States Geological Survey and fill out a Did You Feel It report. Even for the minor earthquakes, that can help scientists study more about what going on with our planet so if you'd like to help out with that that would be a great idea almanac for yesterday we came within two degrees of a record high the record high you see for today 102 last set back in 1954 98 was our high temperature yesterday record high on saturday 100 which hasn't been broken since 2012 nothing to report in the way of rainfall across the mid-south we're now nearly two and a half inches behind normal for the year or for the month at least for the year we're still ahead by well over half a foot of rainfall thanks to all that rain we picked up in around february and march rest of the forecast again straight chances of shower and thunderstorms across the area and temperatures rising rapidly through mid to late morning into the lower to mid 90s. Stray chances of showers and thunderstorms popping up across parts of the Mid-South into this afternoon and this evening right around News Channel 3 at 5, 60 minutes at 6, and then heading into around News Channel 3 at 10. Very toasty temperatures back in the lower to mid 80s. Into tomorrow morning, stray chances of showers and thunderstorms. Stay tuned to News Channel 3's Todd Demers. He'll have a complete forecast update for you early on Monday morning. And then throughout the rest of the day, showers and thunderstorms coming on through outdoor activities band camp athletic camps vacation bible school you will have more chances of showers and thunderstorms to deal with throughout the rest of the morning into the afternoon and into the evening hours so indoors may be your best bet on monday as we see those chances of showers and thunderstorms start to dwindle past sunset monday evening and low temperatures back in the upper 70s by the time we head to around early tuesday morning rest of the day today mid 90s with isolated showers and thunderstorms more chances of showers and thunderstorms into monday with again better chances along that front as it drops on through slightly less hot in the next couple of days temperatures heading into the lower 90s by tuesday and as we get into wednesday and thursday less chances of showers and thunderstorms and closer to normal temperatures which for this time of the year is about 90 degrees so decently close to if not just a bit below normal on temperatures and for late june early july we'll take that no problem whatsoever saturday and sunday of next weekend a holiday weekend coming up and the holiday itself on monday independence day with again mat natural fireworks hopefully not interfering with the man-made displays out there by the time we hit monday evening but keep it tuned to news channel 3 and we'll keep you updated on the possibility of thunderstorms out there it's hot here but how hot is it across the pond this hot. If you got anybody back over serving in the United States military toward around Iraq, temperatures in the triple digits easily enough and some very hot conditions out across portions of the Levant and into around the northwestern Persian Gulf. Temperatures 120 degrees right now around Basra, 117 in and around the Baghdad area. The Arabian Peninsula, temperatures also in the trip 15 around Kuwait, 111 in Riyadh and down toward Bahrain and Doha, temperatures back in the lower 100s. Throughout the rest of the area around Afghanistan a little bit cooler up into the mountains around Kabul and Faizabad, Herat and down toward Kandahar in the lower plains area, south and western part of the country, upper 90s to lower 100s. And around Korea, things are a little bit more palatable out toward the South China Sea. Temperatures back into the lower to mid 70s so far. More information about that, you can go to my social media web pages. And also, don't forget to tweet us as well. If you got any pictures for weather across the mid south, we want to see them. Aonic underscore WREG3. Please pass them along and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 Daybreak and our other programs as well. And keep up to date with the forecast on the East Arkansas Broadcasters Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, your forecast throughout the weekend. Again, radio weather keeping you updated one more way. News Channel 3, the weather experts help to keep you safe and informed across the area. Questions, concerns, comments? 
any ideas across the Mid-South where it comes to this video weather blog, please let us know. Again, austin.onic at wrag.com, and we'll be glad to pass along the information and make this your weather blog so you can keep coming back and finding out more about what's going on across the area. Hot and blazingly hot so across the area today, so please use caution working or exercising outdoors. Complete update of the forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5.30 and again at 10. And Todd Demers starts the work and or summer school week early on Monday morning with his forecast beginning bright and early at 4.30 a.m. Direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This has been our latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information.